jump right in, shall we? There we go. It's your ASMR friend, just checking in on you. I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to Super Animal Royale. The Battle Royale game where you play as adorable little creatures that try to kill each other. <laughs> um, it is a free-to-play Nintendo Switch game, and I gotta say, I'm enjoying it a lot more than I thought I would. It's, uh, it's just so fun. It's cute, but it's got good action, good fun, and what I appreciate the most, what I think was really good, is the pacing. Oh. Can't really escape that hamster ball. Alright, well. Let's just spectate for a bit. So, what I was saying about the pacing was it's good. I feel like they give a good amount of time, but it's nice and quick, like gameplay. Matches don't last very long, so especially on the Switch, you know, even though I'm playing it docked right now, when I play it on the light, it's like the perfect way to play because it doesn't take up too much time. The loading times are pretty good, actually, so you can get into it pretty quickly. So I think it's got a lot of good things going on for it, actually. And, uh, yeah, because... In my other video, like I was saying, you know, my only reference is really Warzone for Battle Royales. And while I used to love Warzone, you know, those map, that the main map can be very long, which a lot of times I like, because if I'm playing with friends, we're going to be playing for a while anyway. But in this type of scenario, it's way better, in my opinion, to have these quicker matches. So kudos to them for for doing that all right let's leave and uh yes um so if you've been enjoying my kind of switch to nintendo content i appreciate you and thank you for joining me so i thought we'd go over some of this stuff uh let's just start all the way from the left with milestones. So, as you can see, you have different kind of milestones to complete. I just got a new one for games played. I just played 20 games, so I get now a blue bow tie that I can wear. And if I play 25, then I get orange, so on and so on. And so yeah, as you can see, you know, if I get a win, I get to wear that crown. And I like that they show what you get if you complete it. So you can kind of see uh, what the end goal is for you. And uh, yeah, I think as you can see, as we're scrolling down, there's a lot of options to unlock some cool things. So... And then, oh, sorry. If we go to complete stats. Okay, so this encompasses all of it. So challenges are pretty good. So four hamster ball kills. I got four of ten. And I'll get those uh, classic thug life sunglasses from those memes. If I get six more hamster ball kills. And, uh, well, that's a cool outfit. So, a lot of, uh, fun little things to unlock. And, as I was saying last time as well, if you're familiar with Battle Royales or 
basically any games now where they have season pass. In this game they call it the animal pass. And the idea is you go through all these tiers and you'll unlock certain things. What I like is that even if you don't buy the battle pass, or sorry, the animal pass, you'll get these 50 red tickets um, for free, so you don't have to have the pass to get those. But, um, and like, I'll get those sunglasses as long as I keep getting up these tiers. So, that's pretty nice. Um, I looked it up, the Animal Pass is $15. Um, no, 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 sorry, sorry. I think that's the, like, bigger DLC. The Animal Pass is four ninety nine, which isn't so bad. I mean, I've played, I've paid more for games that I've given up far faster. Um, honestly, if I play more, I might just purchase it. I'll see how far along I get. But what I like is also, you know, they kind of figured that out where you'll keep progressing on the Animal Pass. And so if you decide to get it later, you'll unlock all of these things. Like I would get this and I would get that, so on and so forth. So that's pretty nice. And then the research lab. So if you collect animal DNA and combine it with super serum to create new super animals, use super DNA magnets to earn specific animal DNA for the next three games. So if we go to the super fox, right? So you start out with, I think four animals, but um, as you can see, it's I got a lot of way it goes to get all these other unlocks, but slowly but surely you can unlock different uh, fox types. And obviously each animal has their own DNA, so I'm actually a little bit further along with the bear. So I got the cat that I could do, working my way to that. But, even though I'm playing as the fox still, I can't wait to get the dog. I'm a dog person, had a wiener dog growing up, and then later on I had a German Shepherd. So I, I'm definitely gunning for that one. That would be so good. And who doesn't love corgis? So... As you can see, there's all sorts of different things. Raccoon, deer, blue jay, duck, ferret, squirrel. They got a lot. And then mystery ones. So there's a lot of uh, a lot of content to be unlocked here. Now we're at the main menu. As you can see on the left side, and it's tracking our animal pass. We're at tier 5. We got the daily challenges, which I've met, which is skate on ice. And then use super tape, which I have zero of ten. And then you have your weekly challenges. So I need to get a lot more AK kills if I want to get that in two and a half days. Um, oh, and then here's where you can customize your character, so... Got the fox, you can do the bear, the skull, skull cat, super tiger, super cat, and then here's where all the clothes are. I have no hats yet, no glasses, no mustache. So you start out with a katana, or melee weapon. Now I've unlocked the uh, s'more, or marshmallow stick. And then I just got the golf club. And uh, so, as you can see, there's going to be more more options later on. And if I go all the way over here, here's the shop. 
Now this will cost real money or in-game currency that you know, I feel like would probably take you a while to unlock. I guess I'm not sure. Um, oh. But yeah, so there's, if you wanted to get a mini animal, this little mini dog. So yeah, there's a, a lot of content, but let's get back into it, and now let's change it up. So as I can say, as I said, whatever, you can play solo, duos, or squads. And just to change it up, let's play squads. Now, on the Nintendo Switch, the way I understand it is that there isn't, you can't actually chat. You have to kind of, I've heard people, they have to like be on their phones. So you kind of have to know who you're with on the Switch. The point is, I can't actually talk to my squad mates, which kind of leaves you at a tactical disadvantage. But you do have three other players that could potentially help you. And, um,. You can get revived. So, you know, there's potential that strength in numbers, right? Uh, I think I've only played like two or three squad matches, and so far they have not gone very well. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's just how things go. And we're about to start soon here. So if you see on the right side, it will show you who's on your team. See checkmate jumped out. You can see the names. There's the cat on our team. And I think it's a good idea to at least try to stay somewhat together. That's a whole squad over there. Ah, uh, no thank you. I'm just gonna leave. There's... Like I said, I have no qualms about uh, getting out of combat, staying alive. But I feel very far away from my squad mates. I'm not even sure where they are. Oh, well, down below. They're all down below. Alright, I need to find a, a gun. Super tape. You can see this guy with the hamster balls coming after me. Well, that's gonna be the end of me. Yeah, that hamster ball is way too OP. And this game's been out for years, so it's like they don't even care about that. They're letting that go. Oh no, checkmate. And then... Uh, we just have Waffle and he's going down, so... Oh, he's still holding on. He's still holding on. Alright. I like it, okay. He's doing his roll. Oh, yeah. 30 play. See? I'm guessing the way these people are running, they're running like a squad. My guess is they know each other, or... They're just smart players where they realize your chances of survival are better if you stick together. Let's change back to solo. And let's go for one more. Let's see what we can do. Waiting for players. Yep. 
but yeah, this, um, it's kind of addicting actually because, again, I think with the gameplay, the way matches can go pretty quick or you die right away and you kind of want to get back into it, you know, I think that's, you know, battle royales and roguelites, they kind of share like a similar addictiveness where you go down and you want to see how far you can get the next time and you keep learning as you go and you try to get better and better I don't know if I've showed the map this time in this one so as you can see our trajectory is that way and we're gonna wait a little bit more we're gonna go right now and I'm gonna try to get as far on this map as possible but these people have the same kind of idea so we're just gonna keep going Got a shotgun. And I'm gonna keep going this way. People landed by me. And I'm sorry if you hear door slamming in the background. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Let's get this armor. This hell. I like the shotgun on my secondary. What? <laughs> oh, I thought that was a player. Oh wow, I'm actually in the safe zone. I'm gonna get this real quick. And I'm gonna go on this side. Let's just see. I like coming in on the smaller. You know, there's n probably no one behind me. There could be. Some people could have moved, but... I like that people have to come in, and I feel like I'm in a pretty good position, actually. So I've still got almost a minute before the gas reaches the safe zone. Is it moving? I think so. Oh well, yeah, slowly but surely. It looks like I'm actually in it right now. Otherwise I'm very close, so I'm not in any danger. And we'll just wait it out a little bit. It's all about survival. Take care of yourself. Remember that. See, the gas is coming. Oh, I would have been safe, but that's all right. We're still safe, so that's good. Pick up this grenade. Let's see. Look at my map quick. See. There's still a lot of room for people to come down from that part of the map, so yeah, I don't mind sticking around here, actually. Alright. Look how slow that gas is creeping up. But we'll, we'll walk along with it. It's also a good strategy in war zone. It's kind of sticking to the edge of the gas, if you can. It all depends on like where you drop in and and where the circle takes you. Oh yeah, and it's called the circle of life, right? 
pretty good for Animal Kingdom kind of theme. Did I not see some on there? Oh, okay. Alright. <laughs> Man, Solos has a totally different tension to it. You know, you're all by yourself. Let me see. Okay. We'll have to move up. Still don't know the map very well, but, you know, it's pretty nicely laid out. Okay, we're safe now. Top ten. Ten players left. Pretty good. And honestly, I don't care. I'm sticking to the edge. Only gonna move when I need to. I'm gonna move in a little bit earlier. That's Reverse course, move back this way. Oh, you can get stuck behind these trees. Got a heal. Five players left, alright. I don't even know what Bandolier does, but it's gotta be bullet related somehow. Oh, come on, I'm getting stuck behind this. Man. Ooh, got a cool, snazzy new brown jacket. What place did I get? Fifth place? Alright. brown jacket. But he has no pants. Is that acceptable? <laughs> I'm gonna equip it. Alright. Let's try something different. I haven't tried duos. So, let's get right into it. Let's see how this goes. We got our cool swag jacket. Feeling good. Got fifth place last time. Hey, look at I'm paired up with Mexico. Yay. Where is Mexico? Where is Mexico, people? Oh, there he is up there. Yeah. Oh. He's got a monocle and kind of like a loungewear sort of thing, I think. And... Wow, a lot of people are jumping early. I'm gonna wait to see where he jumps. It's always best to try to stick together, so... At least in the same area and we can... Nice, he's already got the ball. Shoot. Get him, get him. Get him, get him. Oh man, come on, Mexico. Nice. Nice. He did it. Get him, get him. Good, good. I'm gonna loot. Nothing around here. Get a heal, that's for sure. And yeah, we 
we should start moving in the circle. I'm hoping that's what he's going for. He's got a gun. Good, good. Alright. Oh, nice. Alright. I need to find a gun now. Here we go. Shotgun. Very good. Alright, now we're in a better position to win. 30 players left. Someone's died here. I kind of like that they leave those tombstones to let you know where people have died. So, a potential uh, warning to be aware that people have been through this spot. that he's sticking together here. I still need to find some health. There we go. Oh, he picked it up. Well, great. Oh, nice. He's at least showing me where they are. Nice. I like that he's mindful that, hey, we're in this together. <laughs> oh, I killed. I'm sorry. Um, oh, we're in the circle. 20 players left. Gas is coming in. <laughs> I want to pick up the stink bomb. Though. Oh, didn't even know he was down. I'm sorry, Mexico. Well, he was cool. We were playing good. Alright, well, I think that about does it for today. Thank you for joining me. Um, I hope you're having fun with these, because I'm having fun doing them. And the idea for me is to, to just kind of do this, put myself out there a little more, practice my ASMR, and hopefully grow and get better. But I want to make it good. I want to make it worthwhile and meaningful. So I hope that I'm accomplishing that. And yeah, well, that about does it. So again, thank you. Be sure to like and subscribe if you're digging this. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, okay?